messing around with some walking, a little bit of running. We're at 1.5 miles. Um, the obstacle is the way. You know, the thing that stands in your way, the thing that's the block, is the thing that you have to do. Where are you weak? Where are you not good? Where can you get better? Where can you be stronger? Weak people get rolled up and chewed up and spit out. Weak companies get rolled up and spit out. I don't want my company to be weak. I want it to be strong and I want to be able to handle as much as I need to handle to be able to audible and stick and move. I would like for Slingshot to be uh, like a Nike or a Starbucks. Be able to continue to stick and move uh, regardless of something great happening or regardless of something bad happening. I want to be able to continue to flow and continue to move with stuff. So I feel like I put myself through some tough stuff. At the same time, it's important that I make this easy since I don't like running and I haven't really ran much before. And so all I'm doing here, I'm on this Peloton. You don't need anything fancy though to make, don't let this be an illusion to you. You don't need a treadmill that costs this amount of money. You can go outside and do this. This is just where I chose to do it. Um, I want to ingrain this to be a habit. And <laughs> I hate saying it on camera because now it really puts me on the hook. I want to run for a little while every single time we do a podcast. So I want to get in some running every single time we do a podcast. Did a podcast today with Chris Aceto, so I figured I'd get some. And this is a walk run, right? Because I'm trying to give myself an underhand pitch. I'm trying to give myself something that I can see, something that I can visualize, and something I can have accuracy and consistency with. How would you pitch? A ball to a little kid you wouldn't throw him some overhand crazy curveball type thing right <clears throat> you'd let the kid see the ball you would throw it up let him see it all the way through until he can get a good crack at it right then you'd have him do it multiple times then over a period of time a kid might start playing baseball he might start having people throw harder at him but that is uh, a progression right that's all I'm trying to do is make progress so we're at 1.79 miles. We're gonna crank this up, and for the next 40 seconds, I'm gonna run. I'm trying to engage in some nasal breathing. I feel good, this is super comfortable. If I wanted to, I could probably keep this pace for a little bit. But once this 15 seconds is up, I'll lower the incline and lower the speed. Hopefully it's day one of many, right? Um, you can look at it two different ways, right? You can think this is just one day or this could be one day, right? Just one day is like, yeah, just one day I went and did that. One day I went and I started running and who knows what story that will turn into. Who knows what health, who knows what benefits That'll conjure up. Who knows what ideas will conjure up. Also, while I'm on here, people's coach ain't wasting any time. I'm learning. Getting my learn on. That's a daily stoic right there. Check them out. Ryan Holiday. Talking about Marcus Aurelius. I love this kind of stuff. I'm always trying to figure out a way to improve or get better. And maybe for you, maybe you'd rather do something else with your time if you're going to exercise. But what would make this the most enjoyable? Would it be good music? Would it be a motivational speech? Would it be listening to a book on tape? Audio book? Whatever it is. Watching a movie? Whatever way you got to get it done. But you know that there's things you could be doing and you should be doing. And you're distracted by the things that you want to do and that you know you probably shouldn't be doing, those things are standing in your way of what you really truly want. And so in your efforts to try to truly get what you want, make sure you find the things that are difficult, find the things that are hard, and lean right on into them. 
I gotta pick up the pace, because here I go again. You could be good today, but instead you push it off till tomorrow. Just learned that right now. Came right through my headphones. How dope is that? It's time. You're ready. You're ready to start making progress. Maybe you're not ready to run. Maybe I'm not ready to run. Maybe you're not ready to do anything too intense. Maybe you're only ready to start walking. Guys, make sure you're following along on Instagram too. Make sure you're following along with this channel at Mark Smelly Bell because I'm gonna give you guys simple steps that you can implement into your life or into the lives of people that you care about and people that you love. And you can take <clears throat> some of that advice and it's stuff that you can utilize right away. It's stuff that you're gonna be able to put into action. And if you want more proof of it, you have to look no further than my Instagram or even hashtag war on carbs on Instagram. Thousands and thousands upon thousands of people have been impacted. People have lost 20 pounds, 40 pounds, 60 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds. Somebody put a post today shouting me out saying that he lost 60 pounds and his wife lost 60 pounds. The, fan, the difference in the family, I'll show the picture here. <clears throat> the difference in the family is dramatic, very dramatic. So I know sometimes I might say something that might, might hit you the wrong way. You might think, God damn, why is, he, why is Mark Bell always yelling at me? Um, I don't mean to get overly hyped up. I don't mean to try to always give a motivational speech, but I am passionate about these things. But as I advised in the seminar I did here this weekend, here at Super Training Gym in West Sacramento, California, the gym is free, by the way, 855 Riverside Parkway, open every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday uh, from nine to one. Come on in, come and check it out. It's actually free. That's to lower that barrier of entry into fitness. I want you here. I want you training. But what I shared with people the other day was this concept of sometimes sounding like a maniac or sometimes sounding irrational. Whenever you have an irrational idea that sounds wild and sounds crazy to other people, you know that you're on the right track. Because I had one guy who really struggled with weight loss and he said, my biggest problem is, he's like, I diet really well during the day. I'm committed, I train, I work hard. He's like, but I don't look like I lift. I'm holding way too much body weight. I, I have way too much body fat on me. He said, I self-sabotage myself at night. I wait for my kids to go to bed. I wait for my wife to go to bed. I wake up in the middle of the night. I, I go through my pantry and I sit on my couch and I watch TV for like two hours. And I just boom, consume. That right there is addiction right there at its finest. My solution to him was throw away your couch. <laughs> and I know that people think something like that, it sounds so radical. You may have heard me talk about it yesterday on Instagram Live. Does it sound radical when you fast forward a year and a half later and this guy's lost 80 pounds? 75 80 pounds right does it sound does it sound irrational if it could be the one thing that helps change your life forever what's the one thing in your life that you might be able to change that might help change everything forever it could sound radical it could sound crazy it could sound uh, far-fetched for right now but you'll get closer to it but you have to go towards it and you have to figure out like it, like what's blocking me what's holding me back in this case it was as simple as the guy's couch and this bad habit that he had throw away the couch boom he flipped a switch in his head he never did tell me whether he threw away the couch or not but it flipped a switch in his head that he does not need to be doing that anymore and so his his worst day his worst day started to look a little bit more uh, it started to look better and better and better over time his worst day looked like his best day when he was on this uh, kind of up and down yo-yo diet. And then his best day was a lot better than his previous best, obviously, to lose the weight. 
think about it. Could just be that one thing that you're not doing. Could be that one thing that's just blocking you. I don't want to run. <laughs> I do not want to run. Some of you are probably watching you're like, oh, Smelly's already in pretty good shape. What's he running for? The same reason why Elon Musk keeps working. Same reason why Jeff Bezos keeps working. Because you always want more. And not even just wanting more. You just know that you can improve. You can be better. I got a long way to go. This is a long ass lifetime experiment for me. Thank you guys so much for following along. I love that you guys are watching the channel. I love that you guys are participating with questions. Please put your comments below. Let me know what you need. Let me know how I can help. Let me know how I can assist. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later.